when i did films like ek chalis ke last local or manorma they were small films with new directors and unknown producers whereas when i did a film like zindagi na milegi dobara it was already a bigger platform with a big star in it and everything like that so honestly now i don't think too much about these things it's now it's been uh, my 16th year going on yeah so much work happening and you know uh, like i said two years back also that ott is the future um, and you know because people are getting a lot of work and a lot of like good content is coming in and there are a lot of choices that we can make Hi guys this is Ankita you're tuned into peepingmoon.com and today we have with us Abhinav and Mahi Gill taking us back to the hills and recount war now what exactly are we talking here let's first begin with Abhay itself Abhay why you want to tell a story of a war which uh, at this particular moment do you think like audience will be interested considering we are having too many of these shows on the web space i don't understand the question why why are we doing a show on war when there's so many shows on war or there's just so many shows in general what's the question no it's on war because what happens is when normally when there is a topic on the web space floating around too much the criticism also around it just happens to be a little too much <laughs> that's how it works here do you think I mean, that it is the best time to come out with it i honestly i i don't I wouldn't think about criticism before I even do something because then we do nothing because someone will criticize something or the other you know someone likes an apple the other person will hate an apple you know so I don't think that's a way to go ahead in making decisions that is I don't I don't understand one part of your question I don't see that are you saying that there's many war series right now and this is one of many is that but I'm saying it's one of the many war series why do you think an audience would pick up this particular series and of course then oh, followed by the didn't, other part I didn't, i didn't know that there were many series on war um so in order to answer it, why should they pick up this one well i'm not someone who's pro war i don't want to glorify war uh, i don't like pitting my culture against some other culture so the philosophy of the show is what attracted me it's it's it shows more the impact of war on the individual on the people who fight it on the families that support the individual on the community they come from you know where mahi plays my wife um there's so much focus on the families of each character and and the extended families and what they go through so it's not pro war in any way and it shows that there's losses on both sides not just you the protagonist but the so called enemy as well there's been a humanistic side shown of the enemy as well so that attracted me in, in the hope that people are less uh <laughs> you know passionate about going to war and more passionate about diplomatic solutions you know so that's i think that's that's a, a point that i think this show makes very well all right mahi how did you come on board for this one and because uh, from the trailer go the first and the foremost comment which always attracted me on the youtube section was you two reuniting it's like going back to the devdi days and it genuinely started from there you should be seeing the abey is my first hero yaar mera pehla hero hai i mean i really want to work with him and you know so when i got to know and obviously you know i wanted people to know about this story it was yeah. one of the it is a very fierce battle that was fought and um, obviously um, i can relate to the character because i am from the army background and you know um, i have a lot of friends in the army i myself was selected in the army so i could relate to it and so there were so many things you know like um, uh, the story abhe also one of the main reasons <laughs> and uh, mahesh manjrekar obviously is a, a wonderful director and an amazing actor himself so i think the whole thing was quite interesting um abey when a few months back jail 50 came out um your entry into the web uh, web space i would say in that particular sense was slow but with a big bang like mm. the it was the particular show i would say uh, it came out with a low key uh, presence and it left a long impact do you expect this is going to happen the same with this one but this one's definitely not coming in in any low key Yeah this uh, is not this is coming with a huge like this, there is a huge discussion around it people are talking about it exactly. you know this it's had a few million views in a day and 
it's also got a great cast, uh, a, a famous director behind it, a big platform. So there's a lot more expectation of this one. The JL50 was never meant to be a show. It was meant to be a film. Yeah, film I know. Um, I don't know. I don't... A lot of the questions you're asking, I, it's funny, I don't think about those things. I mean, if I thought that way, then I wouldn't take the risks I took in my entire career. So you got to ask me in a different manner, maybe, or something else. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, mean, if you mean to ask, do I feel more tension with this? Than okay, then I should ask you directly. Do you feel a certain tension or a certain pressure? Because the last one was perceived pretty good. And now it's like a certain benchmark is already there for Abhay Deol with his particular show with the name attached to it. Do you think the same kind of tension you're feeling at the moment? I don't feel the tension because of the benchmark. I feel the tension because of the so many factors, as we discussed, the multi, the, 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 the cast that the show has, the director, the platform is just far bigger. Um, and I, but I've been here before. So when I did films like Ik Chalis Kilas Local or Manorma, they were small films with new directors and unknown producers. Whereas when I did a film like Zindagi Na Milegi Dubara, it was already a bigger platform with a big star in it and everything like that. So honestly, now I don't think too much about these things. It's now it's been uh, my 16th year going on, yeah. <laughs> Mahi, uh, the format of a web series, what stands out is that you get almost an eight to ten hour uh, window to narrate a story, which in film normally shuns down to maybe one or two or two and a half hours at most. Do you think at times it is advantageous for an actor, or it can also become a really tough task to live up to the same emotion for the longest? period of time and hold on to the same uh, wavelength of what story you're trying to tell. Sorry, I didn't get the question. Uh, oh, for the OTT platform? I yeah, mean, like when it comes to web series, it's more like an eight to nine hour long run. You get a long time to perform a certain character. But when it comes to movies, we have a limited time frame to put something on screen. Do you think it is advantageous to have, like to work in a web series in a manner where you get this long? Uh, a time I don't do know. It. I mean, um, as an actor, I think whatever is interesting, whatever excites me, even if it is a web show or a film, you know, it all depends on that. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. The lens doesn't matter to me. It's it's more uh, of the content, you know, that matters uh, now. So, but but you know, OTT platform. I mean, there's so much happening now in the sense people are getting so much work, be it um, actors or technicians. There's so much work happening, and you know, uh, like I said two years back also that OTT is the future. Um, and you know, because people are getting a lot of work and a lot of like good content is coming in and there are a lot of choices that we can make. Um, but I do miss a big, big screen, obviously, you know, I want to see myself on the big screen, but, uh, um, but I, I don't think the time thing um, makes a difference. You know, if the story is good when be it for 10 hours doesn't make a difference. Even while shooting also doesn't make a difference. I mean, obviously shooting for longer days. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what stands out in the trailer is uh, the kind of locations you guys have shot on. They look uh, pretty daunting. Was it equally Lovely daunting? To oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, was it equally daunting to shoot on such locales? Because I was reading uh, freezing temperatures and you guys were shooting. Uh, I would like to hear it from you because we, I could get just as little material to understand how the process went. I mean, it, Le Ladakh is cold cold and dry and and you have to travel to far off locations and but it's just such a beautiful place it's a beautiful place and I'm doing what I love so you don't feel it of course you do feel tired with the long hours and with the air being thinner you do get more out of breath while walking and running and all of those things but, you know that comes the territory so to speak uh, and also, I've always wanted to go to Leila Dhaka. I had not made it there yet. So I was just excited being there, you know. <laughs> so, but the other locations were fine, you know, where me and Mahi were shooting, Vai and Panjgani and all was, weather-wise was fine. Hmm. Yeah. Mahi, how was your experience? I miss shooting. I mean, I really wanted to go to Leila Dhaka, but, you know, I didn't get the opportunity. But I shot, we shot in uh, uh, this uh, Vai and Panjgani, but that was also fun. I love mountains. Oh. I'm a mountain person. Something. <laughs> 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 Abhi, um, 
the show is coming at a point where we are back to the game uh, where our theaters are opening and our films are getting the lineup of being streamed uh, in theaters now to come on the big screen uh, in general uh, do you think when we are now again at the same scenario where we will have our theaters and ott running parallel to each other um, will the shows which performed really well last year for an example uh, will the shows get same kind of treatment this year from the audience as well because now the theaters are opening now we are again going to have the bifurcation of you know few things in theaters and few things in ott i mean the ott are you saying that the ott platform suffer a bit from the cinemas opening i'm not saying uh, i i would say will it take a certain kind of back step again the ott because last year it got an undue advantage everything was ott like our entire life centered around it i mean last year with the covid it got a bump because of covid but up until covid happened the ott platforms had come into the country had started to get their foot in there were already becoming another alternative to the theaters um so it was always building it just that it got a bump due to the cinema shutting down when the cinemas open up it it won't have the bump of people not, of the theaters being shut but doesn't mean it'll slow down it'll still continue to evolve and grow um after all they offering an alternative to film uh films being so what happened in hollywood for example if you look at history because the ott platforms blew up much earlier there was ultimately people went to the cinemas to watch spectacles so all your superhero films would get a theatrical release but all good drama went to tv you know you didn't actually see independent films come out as much or good drama come as much because they were getting the fill of it on television uh, on the ott platforms so same thing here bollywood has always been spectacle anyway uh they've never actually explored like hollywood to do outside of the formula stuff so people were getting a little bit bored of the same thing over and over again they wanted something different the industry wasn't giving them anything different and now the ott platforms are giving them that um and those who can't afford to release their films or market them well because they don't have the money have the ott platforms to release those films in and so it'll continue to evolve and it'll continue to change and shape the way we make films and the way we write drama if it wasn't for the ott platforms we'd still be just making the same film that we've been making in bollywood for the past 60 years yeah lovely uh my uh, with mahesh mansrekar at the head for the series um what do you think like how, how was his direction per se was like because mahesh sir is known to do all these gritty kind of real life dramas and then we have suddenly him on a boss space direct uh, directing a series on that how was the experience working with him amazing he's a fabulous actor himself and you know he's he's very good with emotions so um it was a lot of help when I mean, you know the director is an actor uh but the funny part was you know because there were a lot of um, actors uh, marathi actors uh, in the series so he would come and explain us a scene and he would speak in marathi and leave and i don't understand marathi <laughs> so it was used to be funny me and i used to be standing over there i think you understand marathi right little bit not not as much as i should you know considering i'm but born i i i had this problem so i was <laughs> like sir please mujhe bhi samjhao mujhe bhi samjha kar jao because i didn't understand what you said so that was funny but you know yes he is very very good with emotions and uh, drama and uh, um, it was quite nice working with him it was nice yeah i enjoyed mm-hmm. uh abhen mahi when we do a show on a war are there certain kind of do's and don'ts as uh, actors or as in scripts uh, you guys also take care of like this is as much as we can show and this is as much as we cannot is there something like that because i I've heard it from a couple of people in past. Them, itna hi war ka description rakh sakte hain screen pe, aur isse zada glorify ya isse zada kam ya zada nahi kar sakte. Is there that kind of a thing also? When you do it's not. It's not just a war war film. It's it's about these people. It's about these people's journey. I'm going to say because what all we could get from the trailer is what all we can make out. That's why. Abi. Ah, oh. um, look, it just depends on the individual who's making the show. and this could be said of anything with war if you go into war i mean it's there can be propaganda behind it uh you could uh, film as a medium is a way to play with people's emotions so 
you can fill them up with anything. You can make them pro war and 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 you know fundamentally nationalistic, vehemently na nationalistic, or you could show them you're disgusted by war and make them disgusted by war too. So it just depends on the individual making it. And that's why I said in the beginning of our interview, I'm not pro-war. And um, I believe in humanity and I believe in breaking borders, not creating them. And so if that's your philosophy, then sure, I'm on. But if your philosophy is to show us against them and we are better than them, then I'm not your guy. And Mahesh ji, in that sense, resonates with that. Um, and so I was comfortable with that. Yeah, I would not have done it otherwise. My, there was this fun question uh, in the YouTube section on trailer, which I'm going to ask you on behalf of both you and Abhay. Did you guys were able to create anything from the memories of Devdi? Because trust me, <laughs> there was this fun uh, break to break scene going on in the YouTube comment section of you to coming back. <laughs> and I don't want to spell it, but they were pretty, pretty good in senses of people saying, Hua kya hoga set pe when Mahi met Abhay. Did anything fun happen on that front on a lighter note? <laughs> well, yeah, we, we united after 12 years and I just felt like, why did it have to ten. be so long? 10, 10, 10, 10, no? 10, ten. Mara ho gaya, na? 9, we sh 8, we sh 9, we shot. Eight. But 2009 we released the film. Yeah, yeah. So 2008 we shot. Yes. Ho gaya, 2021 aa gaya hai. 21 aa gaya. Like 12 years. Mm -hmm. I think it was more like, why did it take so long? And I think the big thing, we didn't have to break the ice. We are comfortable with each other. We had, at least I had fun while making. I can't speak for her. No, of course, I even had I had so much fun. <laughs> I had, had a crush on him when, we, when I saw him in Socha Yeah. Oh, really? you I never never told you. Me. I'm telling you now. <laughs> yes. I, you did? I, I saw Socha I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, what a good looking guy. Oh my God. So, and then Devdi happened and after that, I was like, why are we working We should be working together. And then, you know, to... and then after that, when this film happened, this show happened, then I was like, okay. But I had a lot of fun with Abhay. That, uh, so that comfort level really, really helps, you know. And I'm not going to give her too many compliments. It'll go to her head about how much I love her. <laughs> because just for you two guys, there was this very fun clip meme someone attached in the YouTube section where Mahi is dancing to talk to about Abhay's face. On the side, that meme is hilarious. You two okay. reuniting. I wish I could send you that. That was hilarious. Oh, you should, to ask you. <laughs> so you had that fans already are pretty much excited. I can see more of you also together on screen for sure. You know, it's it's good that when a long gap is always good because you leave the people wanting more, mm -hmm. and you only get together for something that is meaningful. Because Dave D wasn't a film that had an impact and to kind of recreate that would would take something something incredible um and i think this is there it couldn't be more different from devdi i mean very, very paro, paro's carrying a bed to the kids you know what i mean devdi and over here she's a devoted wife paro yeah. tells them to go get a life i mean when i wrote devdi the <laughs> treatment it was about an empowered character the women were empowered and here she's a more traditional housewife so she couldn't be more different from Paro in that sense, but she still has the same fire that she has, you know, that you can't take away from her. Mm. You know? <laughs> That's lovely. But thank you guys. Thank you for your time. I, I really wish to see you also together in another movie super soon, just like any other fan. When uh, yeah, it Abhi is inviting me to LA. Abhi is inviting me to LA. Yeah, yeah, I've already sent the ticket. Yeah, manager <laughs> could be. <laughs> Are you, man? <laughs> <laughs> that might. Then hopefully, I think. No, you won't take too much long time next time when you two are reuniting. So I hope this happens pretty much soon as well. And wishing you all the best for your show and just keep entertaining. That's all. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.